Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have a quick overview of Kepler's first law and of course first law means that planets move in elliptical orbits with the Sun located at one focus. So here we have the two foci and the distance between the planet and the Sun and the planet and the other focus, those two added together equal the distance across the long portion of the elliptical orbit. So here we have some relationships. We have the sum of those two equal twice the semi-major axis. The semi-major axis is half the distance, so that's the major axis. And so these two add up to the major axis. Here we have the relationship between B, A, and C. 2C being the distance between the foci, 2 being this, this distance, 2A being that distance. So B squared equals A squared minus C squared. We have the equation of an ellipse. That always comes in handy. The eccentricity of the orbit tells you how elliptical it is. Now, of course, if it's a perfect circle, the two foci come together, C equals zero, and then the eccentricity will be zero. But if C is not zero, the eccentricity can, can be calculated by the ratio of C over A. And you can also calculate the eccentricity by taking the square root of one minus B squared over A squared. And that is, in short, Kepler's first law.